Hi, I'm Ben. I'm the executive chef at the Pullman Hotel Sydney Olympic Park. Today I'm going to show you how to make spanakopita. I've been making spanakopita since I was a junior chef. It's a little time consuming to make, but your guests or customers will love it. Alright, step one, we're going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Step two, we're going to melt the butter in a frying pan, adding in our garlic and eschalots. And on a medium heat, we're just going to cook those until softened. Then we're going to take our cabbage and add that in. Saute the cabbage until it's wilted. Then we're going to remove that mixture from the heat and set aside to cool. Once the mixture is cool, we're going to mix in currants, feta, parsley into that cabbage mixture, seasoned well with salt and black pepper. Today we're going to use Pampers Filo Pastry. We're going to take three sheets of that and brush melted butter in between each layer. On one side of the prepared filo pastry, gather a row of cabbage mixture. This needs to be tight and well formed and in a, in a perfect straight line. Then we're going to roll the filo pastry with our mixture up into a tight cigar, buttering between each layer as we roll. Once the filo pastry is all rolled up, then we're going to scroll the pastry into a snail-like shape. Just take a little bit of aluminium foil and roll that up. We're going to turn that around our snail and tie it off at one end. This is to keep the spanakopita nice and tight for cooking so that it doesn't fall apart in the oven. We're going to put the uh, pastry then into the preheated oven for approximately 12 minutes or until golden brown on top and also on the bottom of the spanakopita. Mix together the yogurt and a small amount of sumac and season the yogurt as well to taste. Once your spanakopita is cooked, remove from the oven and allow it to cool slightly to room temperature. Smear some of the sumac yogurt onto a plate, place spanakopita on top and garnish with some thin sliced eschalot and parsley and also a little bit of fennel. So this is my spanakopita. It's a great vegetarian option for your menus. Go show me your take on it.